Now, let's talk about compound interest. Compound interest or IC is the interest that is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Now, the formula for the maturity value is F equals P times 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal, F is the maturity value or the future value, R is the interest rate, and T is the time in years. Now, the formula for the compound interest is IC equals F minus P. P is the principal, F is the maturity value or the future value, and IC is the compound interest. Now, let's have this example number one. Find the maturity value and compound interest if 10,000 pesos is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in five years. So let us identify the given. So given. So the principal is equal to 10,000 pesos. Now the rate is 2% or in decimal, this is 0 0.02. Now the time is five years. Now the formula for the future value. So let us find first the future value or the maturity value. Okay, so the formula for the maturity value is P times one plus the rate raised to time. So principal is equal to 10,000 times one plus 0 0.02 raised to five, which is the time. So we have 10,000 times one plus 0 0.02 is 1.02 raised to 5. So meaning you're going to multiply 1.02 5 times to itself. Or better use your calculator. So if we're going to solve this, using your calculator, just key in 10,000 times 1.02 raised to 5. So the answer the future value is equal to 11,040.81 pesos. So this is the future value. Now, how about the compound interest? So the compound interest IC is equal to F minus P. So this is the future value and this is the principal. So we have 11,040.81 minus the principal, which is 10,000. So just subtract the compound interest is, is 1,040.81 pesos. Now, the present value P at a compound interest, so the formula for finding the present value is P is equal to F times the quantity 1 plus R raised to negative T. So where P is the principal, F is the maturity value or the future value, R is the interest rate, T is the term or time in years. So let's have this example. So how much money should a student place in a time deposit in a bank that pays 1.1% compounded annually so that he will have 200,000 pesos after six years? So again, so we are asked here to find the present value or the principal. Okay, so how much money should a student place? So meaning we are asked for the present value or the principal. Now, so let us identify the given. So the 200,000 is the future value. Okay, so this is a future value. Next, the time is for six years and the rate is 1.1% or this is 0 0.011. Now the formula again for, for the present value is equal to F times the quantity 1 plus R raised to negative T. So the future value is 200,000 times 1 plus the rate which is 0 0.011 raised to negative 6. So Perform the operation inside the parentheses first. So we have 
200,000 times 1 plus 0 0.011 is 1.011 raised to negative 6. Now, using your calculator, just key in 200,000 times 1.011 raised to negative 6. So, the answer is so the present value is equal to 187,293.65 pesos. So, that's so. A stu so the student must place 187,293.65 pesos to have 200,000 pesos after six years. Thank you.